So welcome to our fourth lesson on road rage. Um, what are we going to be doing in this lesson? We are going to be integrating information and scanning for details of a study. So we're going to be looking at statistics today. Okay, and we're also going to be trying to understand statistics that support a specific claim. Okay, so um, now we come to our third section. Is road rage increasing? So in this section we're going we're gonna to see if this phenomenon is really growing. Okay. So let's look at this uh, chart and let's try and complete the details of the study on road rage conducted by researchers at the University of Western Australia. Now what should you focus on when you're reading paragraph 5? Let's look at the following uh, chart. Look for the number of years that the, that the study was carried out. מספר השנים שבהם בוצע המחקר הספציפי הזה. Okay. Total number of road rage incidents during the study. סך כל המקרים שנחקרו במחקר. C. The increase in road rage incidents per 100,000 residents. העלייה ל-100,000 תושבים בתופעה של זעם בכבישים. D. Look for the increase in road rage incidents per 100,000 vehicles. So again, focus on the word vehicles, cars. העלייה במספר המקרים של זעם בכבישים. And E, the percentage of road rage as part of all street assaults. אנחנו נסתכל על התופעה של זעם בכבישים כחלק מסך הכל התקיפות האלימות שמתרחשות. Okay, so again, what you do is you look for the key words in the question and scan quickly to look for numbers, years, and percentages אחוזים. So let's look at the answer for question number one, which are what are the years, the number of years that the study was carried out? And so I'm sure you all noticed the years 1991 till 1995, which gives us a total of five years. It's five years. Count on your fingers. It's five <laughs> years. Okay. Um, let's look at B now. Okay. What was the total number of road rage incidents during the study? Okay. It was 797. The total number, כן? סך הכל המקרים. זה גם מאוד קל לסרוק, אתם מחפשים את המספר הגבוה ביותר שהופיע eh, בפסקה. Let's look at C. The increase of road rage incidents per 100,000 residents. Now notice the words from and to. This gives us a range, זה נותן לנו טווח, מ-ל, כלומר אנחנו צריכים להראות את העלייה למספר התושבים במקרים של זעם בכבישים. And of course you found the numbers from 7.3 to 11.4. Let's go on to um, D. Okay, so now we're looking for the increase in road rage incidents per 100,000 vehicles. כן, העלייה במספר המקרים של זעם בכבישים ל-100,000 מכוניות. So again, we're looking for a range, איזשהו טווח. And the answers, of course, are from 11.2 to 16.8. Now the last one is a little bit more tricky. Um, you're going to look for the percentage of road rage as part of all street assaults. So again, look for key words, percentage, street assaults, כן? אחוזים, תקיפות רחוב. And the number that we get is 10%. Okay, great. So now uh, you learned how to scan a paragraph and look for specific statistics in order to answer the question. Now let's look at another question which is connected to the statistics and it's a little bit more complicated, but let's do it together. Okay. 
So now let's look at question 5b. According to the last statistic, the rate of road rage increased, decreased, or remained constant. Okay, אני צריכה לחפש לפי הסטטיסטיקה האחרונה, לפי E, כן? להזכיר לכם בטבלה E, האם שיעור זעם בכבישים נמצא במגמת עלייה, במגמת ירידה, decrease, or does it remain constant, או האם זה נשאר ברמה קבועה, לפי הסטטיסטיקה האחרונה, okay? So in order to answer this question, I would look again and read the last sentence of paragraph 5. So let's read it together. However, the rate of road rage remained generally constant at about 10% as a percentage of all street assaults by strangers during the period. So um, the answer is remained constant according to the last sentence. Now it seems um, in contrast to what we've been reading until now. זה נראה בניגוד למה שקראנו עד לנקודה הזאת, שכל הזמן מראים את העלייה במקרים של זעם בכבישים. אבל כאשר מסתכלים על התופעה הזאת כחלק מכלל תקיפות האלימות, okay, הוא נשאר תמיד קבוע בסביבות ה-10%. עכשיו, מה הסיבה לכך? למה זה ככה? למה זה רק נראה כאילו יש עלייה, אבל בעצם... Uh, אין ממש עלייה בתופעה הזאת. אנחנו נמצא את התשובה לזה בשיעור הבא.